All right, so it's Dee Dee in the morning. We all here. Uh, there goes Jay Cruz, Yo. Trey G. Yes, Talking to the man right here, comedian George Wilborn right. is here. Uh, right. Affectionately known as the stress reliever. Yes, you and, are. you know, I relieve that stress Yo. no matter where it is, oh, you know? Pause. Now, now, let's talk. No so, Dee Dee. Yeah, really. So you no, guys, doubt. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. No Dee Dee. All right. <laughs> no Slip doubt. slide in away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so George, wait. You know, George and I, we did. We used to work together, mm. and you you had a little boy. Uh, how old is your son now? He's your 10. Youngest, your youngest yeah, is 10? Yeah, Mason is 10 now. Hey, He's no in, way. 10 years old. I'm living in Atlanta now uh -huh. uh, in, on the, uh, in the Gifted and Talented program, oh. uh, playing the saxophone. He's e extremely intelligent, smart, funny, mm -hmm. and just for me, what's best thing is just he's a really kind kid. So he's really? not a smart aleck. You know, he Yo. just happens to be very Does smart. Does he look like you, kind. George? He does. I was going to say, so he take after his mama is what you're telling us then. That's what you're saying. <laughs> I know you wish you knew your mama. You know that? <laughs> I know you wish you knew your mama. At least I know my mama. At least I know I'm, my I'm, mama. You know your look, mama or your dad. We ain't got to have that energy. We ain't got to have that I'm about to be your daddy in a minute. You keep playing with me. We ain't got to have that energy, though. We do, though. <laughs> we know. I, I hope think you I like it. your mama one day. <laughs> Let me tell you something about him. Let me tell you something about Trey. Trey is what we call him slick mouth Trey. Oh, yeah. Everybody on the show, can you tell? I already know. Oh, trust me. Yeah. It's the dimples. Oh, See, yeah. he think he got dimples, so he come with that slick mouth. And let me mouth. tell you what's so crazy. He'll say, I'll say something to him, and I'll get him, and then he'll look at me, and I'll be like, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You better. I got to well, back we away. Just, we just got to have an understanding. That's it, that's all. My granny used to tell me back in the day, if you don't have nothing else, have an understanding. That's uh -huh. it, that's all. Mm -hmm. Granny also told you, put your drawers on, so you get hit by a car. You, you, They're you clean? Know, they, yeah. <laughs> yes. They're clean. They make everything Your mama look. told you that, too? Yeah, yeah get she hit by a car, and then they take your drawers off, got dirty drawers. That's why I don't wear none. He a fan. He a fan. He a fan. He a fan. <laughs> oh my God, George! Uh, I love you, though. Oh, George. All right, so let's talk. He's talking about we. Have, you made me think about it. The Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Kendrick yep. Lamar. Yeah. Performing. Sure. I keep saying the worst thing is for Drake that they're going to be singing that song that entire stadium, and he's going to be at home crying. This is the longest uh, diss track. Uh, in the history of this Run, track, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And not only was it the the best one that I've ever heard, mm -hmm. that, but but it's the longest lasting. Yeah. And now they're gonna cap it off with the Super Bowl, <laughs> which means that you know the whole world now is yeah, yeah, is yeah, really yeah. gonna be. Drake doesn't care. He's he's paid and he's got his fan base. You know, it's For not sure. going anywhere. It's like mm -hmm. like Trump supporters. They're not. They're gonna be there. You know what I'm saying? No matter what, but, <laughs> like Trump supporters. You know, but they gonna they gonna they're gonna be there. But the Super Bowl is going to be nuts, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. And I don't think they need to bring out, you know, I don't think they need to bring out Lil Wayne and all that. You don't? They I don't. I don't. I just think it will be too much of a conflict. Sure. You know? yeah. Now. I'm saying now. Yeah, now. now they they yeah. did too much. If they were to handle it and did the right thing and, and brought him out or, or brought out, you know, one of the cats that, mm -hmm. you know, Maybe Master P, you know, they mm, could have brought right. him yeah, out. Okay. You know, you I, had I to have an interpreter, but never let him, you know, you know, bring him out. Don't <laughs> let him don't let him speak. You know, just let Shouts him Shouts out to New Orleans. We're on in New Orleans. I hey, love Master New P. Orleans. Me too. I, I love Master P. Don't let him do that. <laughs> So we're Look, talking that, that, to that, comedian that George oh, yeah. Wilborn. Now, George, you've been around a long time. You've been in hey, Hollywood a lot. watch your mouth, Dee Dee. No, no, uh -oh. but you've been in Hollywood. You ever been to a Diddy party? You've been invited. I, I, I knew y'all were going to ask me. Let me explain something to y'all. He had to put the money in. You've been. put my cup of coffee down. First of, all, I, first of all, I've never been to a Diddy party. All right. All right, I've been, I've, I've been several times asked to come to a Diddy okay. party. Mm -hmm. I have never gone to a Diddy party. I've never been to a Jamie Foxx party either. Oh, now, God. I heard he has some crazy parties, oh, yeah. too. They, they used to right. compete, right? Oh, like, who oh, had the best drink that drink. Drink, 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 drink. Have yeah. a sip of coffee. Oh, no, that's right, though. Because I've heard about that, too. Hey, I ain't uh -huh. been to a Diddy party. I've been to a Titty party. Been to a <laughs> there, party. You <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. I love those. <laughs> love the Titty parties. <laughs> Okay, so you've never been. No. Did you ever? Did you, did you ever think about going? Oh, you been one of them, Jay? Jay Cruz. I've been to one of them. I went to two. Oh God. Stay the nose. I'm sorry, Didi. What you say? I don't even know because I'm just busy laughing at you. You went to a titty party too. Okay, I know you were there. You hosted one. Stop. And it was Women's Appreciation Month. Ah, absolutely, okay. it is. and we appreciate you. Right. So listen. Oh, so listen. So you've never. Okay, you've never gone to any no, of those parties. No, I haven't gone to Okay, do you believe in the Illuminati because you've been around the Hollywood people. Do you mm. believe in that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You do. You, George, do. you about to say I, I, I believe that there's energies in this in this world mm -hmm. that are are opposite of good energy. Okay. Mm. And if you combine a, a, a lot of that together, if they bound it together, perhaps you, you can name it something, perhaps not. Sure. But I believe there's negative and the counter energy of what I believe. You know, Jesus mm. Christ is my Savior, Lord right. and Christ, and I, I love the Lord, I love God, and that's that's who I am. I believe it's certain people and certain energies that are t 
polar opposite. Okay, of that. and is that in Hollywood? Oh, absolutely, in yeah. Hollywood. How do you with, how do you remain yourself? Like you know, with the Hollywood lifestyle, you can get yeah. lost in there, right? right? You can get lost at you the. You know, Cat Williams said something in, in that interview. He had many things he said in yeah, that interview did. with Shay sure. Shay. But he said, you know, if you if it's taking you a long time, maybe because you haven't sold your soul, mm. you haven't sold your butt, you haven't you haven't done a lot of things. Oh, the glory that, hole or whatever he called it. Oh, uh, any of that, what any of it? that. Yes. You know, he, that, yeah, that's what he called it. You know, the casting couch. How do you want to do it when you're in Hollywood? When you're in L.A., I lived there. You know, many years. Yeah. I've been doing comedy and acting for many years, but I'm not going to sell my soul. I'm not going to sell my butt. I want to have have children, I have friends, <clears throat> and I have family that I care integrity. about. I care. I have integrity, mm -hmm. you know, and I want to hold on to that. Oh, good for you. And I want to go to to heaven. And so, <laughs> it's certain things. It's, it's certain things as 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 people that we know we're going to screw up. But how how bad do you want to screw so up? So let me ask you: Have you were there? Were you ever propositioned in Hollywood where they said we'll of put course. you? Really? And you were yeah. like, No, I'm good. Yeah, well, yes. No, I did that after I, you know. <laughs> after I had some choice words, but yeah, and I mm. mean, it was people that you know you had to think about that. Well, damn, do I do I further my career right here, or do I hold on and, and have some integrity and, and say no? I believe mm. in my talent more than a person that is offering me some some right. crap. But you could right. understand how somebody at a younger age getting into an industry could fall victim to that. I, I, uh, you know, well, older can mm -hmm. fall victim mm -hmm. to that. But yeah, what, what is too. how was you raised? What is your uh, moral standard and mm -hmm. compass looks like? Foundation. You know, what, what type of? But, but hold on a second, George. I don't mean to cut you off because mm -hmm. this is what I've heard. I've heard a lot of people end up doing that because they know that they can get up out the hood. They can buy their mama and grandmama house. They could do all of these things if they do this one thing. And now they get the great role or they get an opportunity. I could have did all that too. Right. I left my family in the hood. I left. <laughs> Damn. So you can't bring everybody. You can't bring everybody. That's what you did. So you left your mama you in the hood. Bring everybody, your mama could and uncle. Uh -uh. No, nah, they had a chance. So now you on your knees because you want to bring your cousin. Now look. No, he's not like, like, no. turning to Uncle Willie. I got my check and I was hey, gone. He said, on, I'm man. not getting on my knees. Okay, hey, I'm not getting on my knees to do nothing but pray. They had a okay. chance. I love that, George. I love that. All right. Well, listen, George, you are out on tour. You did go into different stops, different cities. How yes. can people keep up with you? Where do they find you? My Instagram is the stress reliever or the stress reliever, depending on what school you went to. But it's oh, the same God. work. But hit me up on the stress reliever, you know, and that's usually what I do. I don't really do uh, Facebook, yeah. even though I'm on there, but it's too many pages, too many things to go through, and too many old people on Facebook. But never like <laughs> <laughs> But you just, you know, hit me at the stress reliever um, on my Instagram. Yo, you know? Hilarious, man. Man, I appreciate y'all. Yeah. Didi, you are just phenomenal. Your star continues to oh, rise. You. It, is, it is not It's not kindness. It's just facts. Oh, yeah. You are just the absolute top tier and, and cream of the cream of the crop when it comes George. to this. Thank you, George. I'm really I'm really thankful flowers. that you said that. I mean, that's no, sweet. Not. Flowers. No, you know, George, I, always, uh, I can't we... stand with people. I get flowers. Why? What, you expect somebody to die? They ain't about no flowers. I'm just saying the oh. truth. Oh. See, oh, well, they, ain't no, <laughs> they ain't nobody doing flowers <laughs> around here. Beautiful flowers are beautiful. You yeah. supposed to be educated, you know that. That old Zempic, man, ain't, <laughs> it ain't good for your mental health, man. That sponge you, getting to your brain, <laughs> school. <laughs> sponge getting to your brain. Big old teeth you got. George Wilbur. All right. You did not talk teeth. But look at here, though. I saw hope now, them little chicklets in his mouth. Hey, what happened to your molars, though? What is that? What is you don't even know what a molar is. Look at that. <laughs> That's some old school talk. You don't even know what a molar is. That's why you don't brush them. <laughs> <laughs> That's some old school talk. Right. You got his removed. Them the back two, fool. Give it up Them for the back two. George Wilborn, y'all. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. It's Dee Dee in the morning. That was dope.